I think we're all familiar with the possible dangers associated with technology. Cyberbullying, sexting, inappropriate material. Not to harm you. But nothing strikes me scarier than cell phone use while driving. A study by the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute found that truck drivers who were texting were 23 more times at risk of a crash or near crash event than non-distracted drivers. As for talking on a cell phone, the same study found no increased risk for truck drivers. However, they did find a 1.3 times the risk for light car drivers, like most of us would be driving. However, there was a considerably greater risk for people that were dialing while driving. The study also found that texting took a driver's focus away from the road for an average of 4.6 seconds, enough time when you're going at 55 miles an hour to cross an entire football field. That's a lot of driving while you're not looking at the road at all. The popular Discovery Channel show, Mythbusters, did a test with two of their hosts, which involved driving on a closed course. They were accompanied by an instructor and were graded on their performance. They ran the course three times, once sober as a base run, once on the phone, and once just under the legal limit of 0.08 BAC. Uh, during the sober run, both hosts passed. Uh, the test included parallel parking, all the basic driving maneuvers. On the second run, the phone run, they were asked uh, a variety of verbal puzzles, verbal questions, if you will. Uh, one of the puzzles was, if Jack stole Anne's ball, then who's a thief? And a more difficult one, which I have trouble doing, you know, just standing here. If you see a picture with a diamond rectangle in a circle, and the circle is to the right of the rectangle, and directly above the diamond, is the rectangle right above the diamond? <laughs> uh, during the cell phone run, both hosts uh, essentially failed the run. And FYI, also when they were almost drunk, they also failed the test. Now, I know that some of you are thinking out there, hey, what the sugar, Miguel? What about listening to the radio <laughs> and talking with a friend in the passenger seat while I'm driving? Well, the difference between a cell phone conversation and a, and a in-car conversation is, isn't grounding. Meaning that during an in-car conversation, the, the talk and the topics and the tone and the tempo of the conversation can be started and paused, you know, to cater to what's happening in the, in the car. Whereas if you're uh, just on the phone with somebody, they don't know what's going <laughs> around you, they don't know if you need to react quickly, they're just gonna keep talking and talking. As for the radio, it's primarily a passive medium. Sure, you can tell me that you know you can sing along to a song or you can shout at the obnoxious DJ, but as tested by the Mythbusters, it doesn't require as much thought power as a back and forth conversation. So, in conclusion, it's 55 miles an hour if you're driving down I-95 or on the Garden State Park, uh, you guys don't know where that is, uh, on <laughs> California freeways. Uh, so when you're driving on those freeways, think twice before taking those five seconds to type LOL. Thank you.